This is our 19th day on the Japanese tour October 2018 of the Bay Cruise, Ferris Wheel and River Cruise. Osaka's in the middle of Japan on the bottom of the picture. We took a, a cruise on the bay from Santana Maria Cruises and if you pause this you can see what's at that complex near the harbour. Like everything we had to line up but fortunately the, there was a few people, not about half, half a load on the ship, which was great. I don't like crowds. Pause this and get some idea of where we actually went on the cruise. We passed under three bridges. Surprisingly there was no briefing, no life jackets handed out, but I suppose it depends on what country. We passed two small cruise ships. This cruise ship, Santa Maria, was built on the lines of Columbus's ship, Motive. The cruise takes about 45 minutes and leaves every hour, so there's a fairly quick turnaround. have a look at this mast and boom um, as we go under the bridge you get some idea of the height of the bridge and the boom is nowhere near what you'd expect on a sailing ship like Columbus's boat and the helm is way up in that cabin which is nothing like Columbus's ship either it was just a tourist cruise boat here's a self-inflicted selfie There was a, only a small amount of traffic in Osaka, Osaka Bay, uh, surprisingly. Uh, if you have a look at this, you can see Columbus on his boat Santa Maria pointing the way. By that stage we turned around and were heading back down to Osaka Bay and we passed the Ferris wheel that we went on. And, um, Linda took some panoramic shots turned out okay. I didn't video this bridge, I don't know why. So then we arrived back at the terminal and um, got off Santa Maria, said goodbye to Columbus. Then we walked a short distance within the um, complex and if you pause the map you can see the, the Ferris wheel and the Santa Maria. We didn't go to Legoland because adults aren't allowed in without children which was disappointing. I would never have been to a Legoland before. So this is the Ferris wheel from a distance. I'm going to cut another angle before we walk through the car park and into the building entrance where the ferris wheel was and this was a very colourful uh, walkway into that particular area and just up in front you'll see the ticket box and entry point for the ferris wheel so pretty much all of us have been on a ferris wheel and this wasn't anything spectacular but like everything you know you do in when you go on a holiday you've got to do all the tourist sites and it gives you some perspective of the bay area of Osaka City. We were lucky enough to have the cabin to ourselves. There's a seating for four and there was only the two of us which was good. And always we have to have a selfie and um, when it's my turn for a selfie it's usually a reluctant selfie with a cheeky smile. We caught the local train heading back to the hotel but we decided to stop off and have a meal and then we realised that we could go on a river cruise so we took the Tonbiori River cruise 
And if you pause this, you'll be able to see the, the, the map of where the cruise goes underneath seven bridges. Somebody took a photograph of us. The cruise that we took was near dusk. And you can hear that noisy diesel engine and it was smelly as well. And we didn't get a good seat. Other than that, I agree with some of the websites. It's a must thing to do because you don't get to see much of the river when you're walking through the streets in the business district or even the entertainment district and the shopping district. So we reached the halfway point and uh, started to do a U-turn. Is that what you call it when you're on the water? Uh, turning circles rather, rather tight. And he did use the regulations and travel on the correct side of the river. A good example of the city in the dusk, travelling under another, all the other bridges going back. And, um, here's an example of how low the bridges are on the river. I suppose all bridges in cities are similar. And that's probably why the boats are built with a low profile. So that was the end of our evening and uh, we had dinner of course and then the next morning we went on a JR fast train from Osaka City to Hiroshima City and that was really entertaining. So the video was produced by myself and that's the end of another exciting video of our Japanese tour October 2018 day 19 at Osaka City.